Welcome to Startup Hack. Today we're going to talk about .NET 6 now being available on Ubuntu 22.04. Let's go ahead and dig in and get started. Welcome to Startup Hack. My name is Spencer Tomlinson. I am the CEO and co-founder of Clean Router, as well as many other products. Here are some lessons that I've learned building a successful business while challenging startup norms. My challenge is to push you to rethink startup success. Welcome to Startup Hack. All right. Now, anytime I see anything about .NET in the news, about .NET and Ubuntu or .NET and Linux, I get pretty excited. I've been working, uh, you know, on. I even started originally back on the Mono project, and I've been working on uh, using .NET uh, on Linux for a long time. And so, as these, as I see these things like this, it gets me pretty excited to see what kind of progress has been made. So .NET 6 is now included in Ubuntu 22.04 Dami, which can be installed with just app install .NET 6. Man, how beautiful is that? I remember hacking together Mono and spending just days to get it to run on the Linux kernel. This change is a major improvement and simplification for, you, uh, for Ubuntu users. We're also releasing .NET with chiseled Ubuntu, uh, Ubuntu containers, a new small and secure container offering from Canonical. These improvements are the result of new partnership between Canonical and Microsoft. Man, how many years did we think that hell would freeze over before we saw that? Uh, so here's the commands to install .NET 6 SDK on Ubuntu 22.04. Update and then install .NET 6. So rad. We're also announcing .NET 6 is available with chiseled Ubuntu containers. And so as we go look at these, this looks a lot like Alpine Linux, uh, very small and just uh, really chiseled down the uh, kernel to just exactly what we need. Our friends at Canonical have developed a new chiseled approach for making ultra small container images. We're very excited about it. The chiseled image is 100 megabytes smaller than Ubuntu images you've been using until now. Here's the command to pull the new ASP.NET uh, chiseled image. So Docker pull and then uh, the Jimmy chiseled. We also updated the .NET apps and ASP.NET apps uh, sample so that you could try out the .NET chiseled Ubuntu containers. The new container's image has significantly improved security posture. Ultra small packages, reduce size and attack surface. No package manager, avoids a whole class of attacks. No shell, avoids a whole class of attacks. And non-root, avoids a whole class of attacks. To top that off, Canonical and Microsoft are committed to working together to ensure that the new .NET releases are available with new Ubuntu releases and that they will work, to, uh, work well together. This includes security updates and security delivery of containers. We're really excited that .NET 6, and they're not the only ones, is available on Ubuntu 2022.04, and that Canonical chose to work with us as their launch partner for chiseled Ubuntu images. Now, there's a kind of something else between the lines here that I want to talk a little bit about, because this is what I think is missing by a lot of people. Canonical and Microsoft partnership. I mean, this is Canonical recognizing the power of .NET running on, uh, on Ubuntu. It is so fast. It is so fast, it is so secure, it is so lean. Um, there, and, and you can, and .NET has forever, for 20 years, been one of the best corporate development um, options. And so even now on Azure, um, everything that we run on Azure, we run all in Ubuntu containers, or in, uh, in Linux containers. And so I, I think we're gonna see an explosion of things as we continue to see .NET 6 is so fast. The benchmarking around it is just crazy fast, and I think, we're going to slowly, I think we're going to quickly see .NET pull away from Java. Um, love to hear your comments on that. I'm sure that's going to elicit a lot of uh, interesting uh, comments in the, in the comments below. But so several months ago, folks at Canonical and Microsoft started working together with the goal of making Ubuntu an even better environment for .NET devs. And man, I can't agree with this more. Two main goals, simplify using .NET on Ubuntu, shorten the supply chain between Canonical and Microsoft. Um, and now .NET and APT. You can now install .NET 6 with APT, built on Canonical via uh, source code. Um, I was really excited when you could just run a single one-line command and it would work. But now to see that the .NET 6 SDK is available in packages, uh, same with the long name, the ASP.NET Run Core, and the .NET Runtime. Man, how awesome is that? Now, they go through and give you some examples, but they're, the .NET 7 builds are not yet available and likely won't be until the general availability, which is gonna be in November. Uh, they're currently working on an ARM64 build for it. How freaking cool is that? I mean, that will give you the ability to grab a Raspberry Pi, slap um, uh, Ubuntu onto it, install .NET, and bam, you can run anything. So cool. 
the .NET and chiseled Ubuntu containers, you can now use the .NET chiseled Ubuntu container. Chiseling delivers the smallest container footprint while still using, still being, still being the Ubuntu you know and trust. It's similar to conventional distro list with a tool that is customized for slicing dev packages. So just super cool that they're running these, and I'm not going to go through all of it, but you can see some of these comparisons. So the runtime dependencies layer, 112 megabytes, chiseled 12 megabytes. How freaking cool is that? The other end of the spectrum, the ASP.NET layer, 213 megabytes, 104 in the chiseled. Still amazingly impressive. It's reasonable to ask what Alpine looks like. It's a newer distro, uh, distro designed to be super small and compo componentized from the start. Alpine is 9.4 for the runtime and 100 for ASP.NET. So that's not that far off. I mean, 9.4 to 12 and 100 to 104, they're right in the same range. So I think they're doing pretty good. Alpine's great. They're not knocking on it, but it isn't for everyone. Every app seems to muzzle, which is different and compatible with the libc variant. So. Um, there's been some things that have run into some issues with .NET, so this is pretty freaking awesome. And they go through and give a lot of the different um, examples about using the chisel containers. And so we'll put this article down into the comments below, so make sure you can follow this. But ultimately, they're already running, you know, some of the chiseled seven uh, .NET seven on here, and you can even see all the MacBook Air. That's the other reason this is going to be really exciting for some is to be able to see this running natively on that. So this is pretty stinking awesome, and uh, you know the non-root images is also pretty cool too, uh, to keep up with security. So in closing, .NET has been open source for just over five years. Our partnership with Canonical was felt out of grasp during the early days of our project on GitHub. We've learned a lot about how to structure an open source project so that it is a candidate for an inclusion on Linux distro. This is a thanks to our other partners who have taught us a lot, particularly Fedora and Red Hat. Looking back, it is easy to see what open source trust and ind industrial industry relationships are even more about now than when we started. We're excited and honored to be working with Canonical. And I'm pretty stinking awesome and excited about this too, if you can't tell. So make sure you go check this out. Start running all your stuff on Ubuntu. That is super rad. Very excited. You will be blown away when you compare these, both in your cost of running your, um, uh, your VM as well as also then the speed. I, I just think this is absolutely fantastic. So super exciting, good stuff. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Also make sure you start telling your friends about Startup Hack. We are starting our first course. Um, Startup Hack is the best full stack development bootcamp with a guaranteed one-on-one -on -one instruction. We actually guarantee that an instructor and you will have one-on-one -on -one coding time for one hour every day, five days a week. So it's our proven full stack.net core bootcamp. Uh, we'll have you ready for your first job in 14 to 16 weeks. So in one quarter, you can be up to speed and become a developer. It's fantastic. Um, make sure you check out the website. Pass it on to your friends, startupack.com. That's startupack with two Ks. Uh, startupack.com and make sure that you check it out with your friends and get started now. Our curriculum is awesome and it's up to the latest and greatest. And it's one of the things I, as I've been reviewing other boot camps, is how old some of the technology they're building. We're building on Angular 14. We're teaching C Sharp 7.3. I mean, we are, you know, you'll come out of this hosting your applications with a full CI CD on Microsoft Azure. Absolutely awesome stuff. So make sure you check this out. Uh, send it to your friends. Send this video to your friends. Send the channel to your friends. Send everything to your friends. Get all your friends, because I know you're listening to this, so you're probably a developer, but get all your friends to know that this is the shortest and easiest and best path to get started as a developer today, and we'll catch you guys next time.